Hey guys, I'm Terry. And I'm Brian. And today we're going to talk about cubic yards. Geometry, yay! Yes, math. So anyway... My wife doesn't math very well. She doesn't math very well at all. No, she doesn't. I'm on quite a few different forums and some Facebook uh, groups and then uh, a homesteading forum Mm -hmm. and whatnot online. Anyway, uh, people are constantly wanting to know, how many cubic yards of gravel do I need to cover a 30 foot by 60 foot you know, four inches deep. How many cubic yards of wood chips do I need to cover my permaculture garden? Uh, how many cubic yards of compost or manure or whatever am I going to need to do this or that? And they have these di- dimensions of the area that they want to cover. And it looks like a lot of people have a hard time figuring that out. And math is complicated for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it's it's not really that complicated. You could say, okay, I have a 10 foot by 30 foot area. That's 10 feet times 30 feet is 300 square feet. Mm -hmm. And then you go by the inches. Well, wait a minute. I can't calculate inches times feet because now it's two different Mm -hmm. scales of measure. So you'd have to convert the feet to inches, square feet to inches, or the inches inches to feet, feet, which would be a decimal. And that gets complicated because (laughs) we don't have decimal in the American measurement system. It's when you go to measuring distances there's and stuff, fractions. there's fractions. And then when you get done, you got to convert it all to yards. So yeah. so it can get a little complicated. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, we've both studied a lot of math, so it's mm-hmm. we do it pretty good. So anyway, I was telling Brian about it, and mm-hmm. he instantly, um, he's research guru. He looks everything up, but you didn't have to look this up, did you? No, I've, uh, I've been working on the concrete measurements mm-hmm. for our footings and foundations, and there's an awesome uh, website that has a concrete calculator on there. So you input your feet in length and width and then your inches of depth of concrete that you want and it gives you cubic yards of concrete. Well, it's exactly the same as if I want to cover a 10 foot by 30 foot area in wood chips and I want it four inches deep. There's nothing different about that as there is a concrete. Cubic yards is cubic yards regardless of the median. It could be gravel, sand, compost, mulch, concrete, yeah, uh, any media, it's all cubic yards. Right, and that program he's got, notice he said so many feet by so many feet. Most of the time you're going to have feet for your length and your width. Mm-hmm. And then it's how many inches deep do I want to go? Well, yeah. that's where the complication starts coming in. Now i got to convert. Mm-hmm. That program automatically does it. It knows that most dimensions are going to be feet by feet by how many inches, even with concrete. Yeah. Uh, so, so like a garage floor is four inches, maybe right. six. You know, Most of the time it's inches. So it, it, it really simplifies things. You input three <laughs> figures, click calculate, and it tells you your cubic yards. And then you just have to ignore on the bottom where it says how many bags of concrete you would need, depending on the weight of the bag, because you're not doing concrete. You and you can't, the- can't count weight either. Right. That's a big point. It's going to tell you weight of the bags. But here's the thing. Concrete weighs a lot. Mm-hmm. Compost is light. Right. And all, chips are light. And all you're for- focused on is the cubic yard number on the bottom left. So. Right. Let's go inside and I'll show you on the computer exactly how the program or how the website works and lay out your cubic yardage. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty. Okay guys, so this is the website I was telling you about. As you can see, it is concretenetwork.com. It's a pretty good website for any information about concrete, uh, concrete contractors, technical information, all that good stuff and gives you a lot of ideas about concrete. But that's not why we're here today. What we're here for is down the page a little bit. You can see right here it says concrete calculator. When I click on that, it takes me to this page. And here we can calculate the cubic yards of slabs, footings, or columns. Now we'll go back to slabs because essentially that's what any bed that we would be laying down in gravel or mulch, compost, any media like that is going to be a flat slab of whatever media it is. So let's go over to thickness, which is in inches you can see, and the width and length are in feet. On the thickness, let's say it's going to be a four inch bed of uh, mulch, for instance, and the width is going to be 10 feet, and then the length will be 30 feet. All we do is click calculate. When we click calculate, you can see it tells us we need 3.7 yards of compost or mulch. Just like I said earlier, you can ignore this pre-mixed bags because that is pre-mixed bags of 40 pound, 60 pound, and 80 pound concrete. All we're interested in is this cubic yards. So again, I go up top, I change it. I decide I don't want a 10 foot bed. I want a 12 foot wide bed. 
I click calculate. Now I need 4.44 yards. As you can see, this is extremely easy to use and it takes out all the calculations, all the math. All you do is input your inches of thickness, your width in feet and your length in feet, click calculate and you're good to go. So I hope this helps some of you out there trying to figure out cubic yards. Uh, I'm going to post this on some of the forums that I get on and some of the Facebook groups where people have been asking this question and hopefully somebody gets some use out of it. Yeah. And uh, also, if you're out and about and something comes to mind that you want to measure the cubic yardage for, say you're at a big box store buying mulch or compost or who knows what, there's also apps you can download on your phone. I will roll those in right now. And these are screenshots of the different uh, concrete calculators that you can use to get cubic yards again. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. We'll have a link below for the concrete calculator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. And the apps that he's going to show you are just some of probably thousands. The concrete program that's there, one of probably no telling how many out there. And yeah. there's other sources of getting those uh, yeah. figures. For These are just ones we've yards. found that work well. And this is an option. Yeah. This and you don't have to look for it. Guys. Just use it. That's it. <laughs> so... All right. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video for you and be sure to click the subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications when we post new videos. Give us that big thumbs up for a like and comment, share with your friends and check back often. we got a lot coming, guys. See you soon.